Hey, JC here at JC's Comics, more of your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 436-417-419-531-6097. Instagram at JC's Comics, some more. I haven't done anything on Instagram in a while. We're going to try to get some more Instagram pictures up. Also, we're on Facebook at JC's Comics and More.com. You might have to search for it. Uh, Google JC's Comics and More Facebook and then click on the link that has and like the page that has the most recent posts. And also www.jccomicsandmore.com. Got this going out to a guy in St. Louis. But why my old camera takes pictures. I wish I could do an unboxing of that camera right there because it's the same camera. But this is. One of the reasons why the video, I couldn't shoot anymore, take pictures, but I can't access the menu or anything. So we got a new a new camera. So that's Snowball 2. Uh, so Snowball 1 got hit by a car. So we got this here. Got some reorders we're going to crack open. I get those open. Uh, before I do that, we'll open up this box here. These came in for, I got the camera. Just to let you guys know that these are in. This is the new X-Men set that everybody's been waiting on. We finally got in. Sold out of several of these. Or sold out sold several of these so far, but we got Gambit. This is the Caliban. Build a figure. We got the Beast. And let people know I do have the X-Force figures uh, coming out. I've got those on order. And in a couple weeks, we're gonna finally get the Captain Marvel figures. I don't know if anybody needs those anymore or not. We'll get those in a couple weeks. We've got Weapon X. We've got Forge. We've got Don't Miss. Don't Blink or You'll Miss Blink. And we've got Jubilee. She's either having fun chewing bubblegum or she has no bubblegum to chew. And we've got Skull, Skull Buster. So that's part of the, the new X-Men line that we finally have gotten in. And I've only got a couple of complete sets left, so if you're interested, get on in here. In fact, I sold a Jubilee earlier, so I'll go ahead and pull her out so she can get priced up. Now let's crack open this box here. Again, as always, we have Chuck ready there. And then we got Mr. Mr. Blake on the cam right now. Get this box opened up. Then I got a box of reelers we're going to crack open as well. As always, got my invoice, and I've got paper, paper, paper. Lots of paper. We've got a nice packing job here from Diamond on this radioactive man. So Homer Simpson has kind of banged up. So Homer, as he would say, don't, which is too bad because this sucks. I'll have to get that replaced. Uh, we do have coming in in two weeks. I've got at least 14 pops coming in, so you're going to want to look forward to that, including all these Far From Homes. We've got everything except I don't think Mysterio is part, but all these other ones. We've got Not Mary Jane. We've got Happy Hogan. We've got Hydro Man. we got Molten Man, who's not actually looks like Molten Man. It's how Hollywood screws stuff up. It looks like a Lava Man. That's not what the Molten Man looks like. But we've got self, the Stealth Suit Spider-Man there. We've got Ghostbusters figures coming out. We got Raymond here. And we've got I think this is what Egon. And yes, look at that. Look at that nice job there. That, uh, he got ghost busted all right. That's so we're gonna have to see if we can get a replacement. And then I've got Peter and I've got Winston coming in and part of that 14. So so a damaged one there. Very, very poorly. That person uh, was not micromanaged to make sure that these things were correctly and not damaged. There's a radioactive man that's sellable. Another stealth Spider-Man. We got some Hydro Mans. Got that one there. Got another Hydro Man. Something in this box here. This is Batman Black and White Blind Bag Wave Twos. And I guess I just we'll just hang these up. 
you're not sure which of these that you're going to get in this set here. So, and I'm not sure what the price on those are, but we'll have those hung up probably against the wall over there. So we'll have those hung up at some point later today to get those priced up. Let's see what else we have in here. Ah, the Stanley Art Germ poster portfolios. Get all these great Art Germ images there. Very, very nice. $25. That's not a bad price for those, all that stuff there. So I'm going to put this over here for right now. Excuse me. Okay. And then we've got these babies here. SH Monster Arts. We've got the Godzillas from the new Godzilla film. So I've got several of these that are in stock right now. Don't wait. They probably will not last very long. We do have the Mothras and the Rodans. Is it Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah? Which other ones they have offered? I do have those ordered. Uh, I do believe next in two weeks I'm going to be getting the NECA. Uh, I think the NECA Rodan figures in. Now, last week we did get the Godzilla, the NECA Godzilla, King of the Monsters Godzilla. So again, I've got, I can't remember if it's in two weeks, we're going to be getting uh, Mothra or Rodan. So we've got those that are available now. So certainly don't wait. When these things start selling, they're going to be gone just like that. Somebody's going to walk in three days after I've sold out and be disappointed. So you have been forewarned. And that's it from there. That's just what's left in there is four more of those or three more of those. We'll go over here. We've got a box of reorders now. So some of these reorders are stuff people are waiting on, and some other stuff is just stuff I decided to take a chance on. Very nice, some cool stuff to, to get back in stock. You know I've got a lot of reorders when I've got two, damn near two full sheets for my invoices. But as always, Diamond is very, very generous with paper. Now, we've got these Rick and Morty. This is from local comic shop day. Can't remember if this is from 2015 or 2016. So we've got these. We've got some of these that are going to be available. Uh, these are, I believe, going to be $30. We do have these as well so again whatever this is too so this one is from 2015 this is from 2016 so we've got those and some of those are going to be going uh, elsewhere too there's somebody watching this probably right now or going to be watching this they're like oh yeah we're going to be getting those so i'm helping out a friend a friend indeed then with these rick and morty's a lot of these rick and morty's got issue number 17 this is the variant on rick and morty 17. So a lot of Rick and Mortys were being restocked. Now, this is a Rick and Morty, but Doomsday Clock, that's the cover A. I know this is the cover B on this. So we've got those that I needed to put back out. And we've got Rick and Morty number 14. This is the variant on 14. So make sure I've got my copies. Looks like I am missing a copy on that, unless they only gave me six. I think I ordered seven copies of the number 14, Rick and Morty 14. Yeah, there's a copy of that missing somewhere. Here is Rick and Morty number 34. So we've got a 34 there. A lot of stuff that we have not had, so we're glad to have. There's a 37 because Rick and Morty 50 just came out. 15. I should have more of those. That's the variant on 15. But we've got Annihilation. This is volume 2 of Annihilation. I had a customer that uh, had me reorder a copy for him, so I decided to get some more copies in as I needed them myself. Here's my other 14, so I have all seven of my 14s. And I've got my other four copies of Rick and Morty 15 variant. 
I can, somebody is going to be, there's, there's going to be some people very, very happy when they see me in a couple of days. Uh, this is number 33. I should have more of those. Yeah, I see some more of those here. Here's number six. So it's just the first printing on this one here. I think this may be, nope, this is the second printing. Second printing on the number six. Here's pocket like you stole it. Issue number four. That's the regular cover. There's got to be more of those elsewhere. There's my other 34. There's my other pocket like you stole it. My pocket like you stole it in number twos. Those are regular copies, regular copies. Rick and Morty number 10 variant. Got the Doom Patrol Volume 1 trade somebody was asking about. Hopefully they come back looking for that. More paper. Let's see here. We've got some Green Lantern number 8 that I needed to reorder. Rick and Morty number 32. Got Rick and Morty number 5s. These are second printing on the Rick and Morty number 5s. Got a Justice League number 22. We've got a Craven's Last Hunt trade. Those are back in stock, so that's good. Rick and Morty number 33. Got some Green Lantern number fives that I was I was out of stock on. Got Rick and Morty number thirty-two. We got Rick and Morty number twenty-nines. Pocket like you stole it, issue one. We got number twenty-seven. We got number thirty-five. So quite a few Rick and Morty's being restocked. Got a number 35, but you might be able to see from this here, you get this damage here and you got this damage here, so I'm gonna have to call that in as a damage. I uh, got Rick and Morty number 10s. These are first printings on these 10s. And those are regular edition 10s. Yep, I do have some more 10s. We do have issue number 15. First printings on the 15s. I've got the 18. There's a variant on 18. It seems like I've got more 18s missing someplace. We've got 19. That's the variant on 19. <clears throat> the rest of my 19s. There's the rest of my 18 variants. Number 11, we got our number 11s right there. We got Jerry, he's a winner. Winner, winner, Jerry Denner. Father of the year right there, ladies and gentlemen. Number 31, regular edition. These, I'm not sure why these are bagged, but uh, these are variants, so I don't know, maybe these things might be uh, maybe 1 in 10 variants or something. I'm going to have to do some checking on that. They might have filled them uh, by mistake. Hit number 12s. Number 12s right there. And issue number 3. The 3s are third printing on the number 3s. Pocket Like You Stole It, number five. That's the regular cover of Pocket Like You Stole It. Got some Green Lantern, number seven, reorders. Again, reorders that were greatly needed. There's my other number eight. As you notice, that number eight was not with my other two number eights because that person was not micromanaged. We got Annihilation, volume one trade. Got some Rick and Morty, number 19s. Got a Rick and Morty number 15. I sure believe I've got more than that someplace. 
There's my two number 31s. Couple more Doomsday Clock, those are cover A's. Certainly well needed in the bins. Well needed, uh, not in the bins, but needed out there. Rick and Morty number 30. Rick and Morty number 34. Got Rick and Morty number 30. We got number Three of pocket like you saw it. I know I've got two of those orders, so the other one's elsewhere. We've got Green Lantern number six reorders. Pocket like you saw it number three. Issue number thirty-six. Issue fourteen. Few more 13s. Oh, look, here's my other number three. Uh, I ordered two copies. I couldn't put them both together. And number 19, I believe I've had other 19s that were elsewhere. Weren't they? Yes, they were. They were right there. Again, somebody was not micromanaged. Number 13, got some Heroes in Crisis reorders. Issue four of Pocket Like You Stole It. Number nines. And finally, number 36. If you do like these videos, certainly subscribe. You know, don't be like Jerry here. He doesn't subscribe. He misses out seeing the videos firsthand that he has to find out from everybody else. But subscribe and smash that bell for notification. Other than that, have a very good weekend. Thanks for watching and please share.